What a special day this is for all of us here at Sears Canada. We are proud to be the title sponsor of the Sears National Kids Cancer Ride. Let me start by introducing Dr. Victor Blanchett, Director of Oncology at the Sipkins Hospital. Dr. Blanchett. Well, uh, good afternoon everyone and welcome. It truly is my pleasure to be here uh, this afternoon. This is the third event and I've been at all of them. Um, I want to start by congratulating the writers, wishing them well on their journey, and thanking uh, all of their families and supporters who were out. Um, last year, our son, my wife, was with me today, did this right. It's amazing. These guys uh, will complete 7,000 kilometers in just near two weeks, and they're taking time out. Now, they're doing it for an incredible cause. So my I work at St. Kitts. It's a privilege to be part of the London Cancer Team. There are 17 centers like that across Can Canada. Each year, fortunately, about 1,400 young people under 18 are diagnosed with a new cancer. That's about four persons every year. And I'm, some of you have been touched by that, and others can understand. But the good news is that we cure about 80% of those children. That's amazing. 20, 30 years ago, we hardly cure anyone. And it's getting better each year. It's getting better because of the dedication of a number of people. The healthcare workers in those 16 centers, nurses, doctors, volunteers, researchers, learning more about cancers, how to beat them. It's getting better because of things like this. Jeff Rushton and Steve and their team, the Post, Post Foundation, the sponsors, Sears, Dean Rogers, and I've known him now for many years and his team, other people, uh, New York Fries, they work tirelessly. You can't put on an event like this. And the money they've raised each year goes directly to the cancer centers. It goes to help understand more about this disease and get people working on it. And it goes to help those children and their families. You're going to hear some incredible stories in a short while. So I want to thank everyone who's been involved, those who are here, those who are not here, Particularly these writers, wish them well on their journey. They're going to touch down in Halifax. We were there last year on Thursday. It's a very, very powerful thing when you watch that. And I'm really proud to be here and happy to be here. And thank you all for coming. Thank you, Dr. Russia. And now I would like to introduce to you our well known. Maple Leaf great Ron Ellis from the Hockey Hall of Fame. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, real pleasure to be here. I just wanted to come and uh, welcome the writers and the people that join them and their families. And I'm bringing greetings from the Toronto Maple Leaf alumni. For those that are any Maple Leaf fans out here. Okay. Well, they started training camp today, so we're going to win the cup, right? What other team can say they haven't lost a playoff game for five years? <laughs> Let's give them luck. And also, uh, greetings from the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm part of the management team there, and uh, we just want to come and, and welcome you to, to our city. I'm here uh, on behalf of Hagar, one of the national sponsors. They're one of our sponsors of the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's amazing how we all help out each other. And it's truly a pleasure to be here. We're over here in a little tent. Got a couple of things you might like to have a look at. Uh, my sweater's there from 1972. We've got the Canada Cup. And uh, a few autographs if you'd like to look after that when we see you in a moment. So special uh, greetings as well from Team Canada 1972. And uh, the National Riders, you are special. And I think you deserve the moniker Team Canada Riders Supreme or something like that. We've got to come up with a name. But you are Team Canada and you are the spirit of Canada. And uh, that's extremely, extremely important. I also know you have a tour for kids program as part of the whole year and it's a small world. Um, I attended camp 
Buchigias last year. I have my own foundation and we've been raising money for Camp Buchigias for three years. And to know that you're helping them as well, it's a mighty small world. And, and uh, I had the opportunity to be there. I took my board of directors and we had a day like you wouldn't believe. It was just uh, something that I'll never forget. My life was changed after that visit. And all I know is that we must continue to keep these camps open. We must continue to keep the research going. And that's going to happen because of each and every one of you that are here. Not only the writers, but your supporters, your families. Thank you so much to the people who have raised the money through donations. You're all winners. Good luck and God bless.